Have you ever experienced loneliness? I have. Loneliness is a subjective, unwelcome feeling of lack or loss of companionship. It happens when there is a mismatch between the quantity and quality of the social relationships that we have and those that we want. In 2022, I moved to Manchester as a 21 year old and for six months I really felt alone. Yet I was surrounded by people most days and living with my boyfriend. But it's not just me who's experienced loneliness. In 2022, there was reported 25.99 million people in the UK reported feeling lonely. Fast forward to two years after moving to Manchester, I have been on my first solo trip to Italy, been on plenty of solo dates, and I've made a bunch of really, really great friends and feel so much more confident doing things alone and having fun too. So this is my guide on how to enjoy spending time alone. And we're gonna spend a solo date day together too. one thing about enjoying spending time alone it's that you might as well embrace it so we're going to reframe this whole thing to be your date yourself era so i think of it this way what would you do if you were going to go on a date if it was me for example i would do my makeup i would pick an outfit that just makes me feel so cute and do my hair and just do whatever you feel like is going to make you feel amazing for your date for your solo date and i guarantee that if you feel better you're going to feel way less self-conscious and then you're going to have so much more fun as a result if you were going to go on a date you'd also have a plan of what your date was going to be so come on, we've got a whole solo date day to have. The perks of spending time alone, you can do exactly what you wanna do and on your time scale. If you wanna spend an hour in a gift shop, no problem. Want to have Italians for lunch? no problem you don't have to please anyone else and it is all on your terms spending time alone is the perfect opportunity to be selfish and to spend time doing exactly what it is that you want to do i'm a people pleaser and so there have been more than a few occasions throughout my life when i've gone places stayed longer left quicker eaten foods that if i was doing it by myself i wouldn't have done but you do it because that's the balance of friendships but if you've ever thought, oh, I wish I could go there or oh, I wish we could have visited here, now is the perfect opportunity to craft your perfect situation. When doing things alone, I know one of the main battles is to get outside of the mindset of it's weird or it's uncomfortable, but we're we'll gonna talk more about that later. But I know there are four words which might make you feel a little bit uncomfortable. Hello, can I just get a table for one please? Thank you. I know what I'm going to go for. Okay, spaghetti bolognese, please. Thank you so much. Look how delish my spag ball is. Mm. For the majority of us, I feel like it's ingrained that even like from back when we were in school, that when you see people alone, it means that they have no friends. And therefore, when we're alone, it also makes us feel like, oh, well, people must think that we have no friends. And that is the society standard. When I did first start eating alone, spending more time alone, I definitely did struggle with having like my inner conscious, like telling me all these different things, like making me feel more self-conscious. My first solo trip was in Italy to Milan. Well, first and only, I haven't really done one since. This is bringing back memories. <laughs> At the end of the day though, it's up to you how you think you're going to be perceived when you're out alone, when you're eating alone. If you tell yourself more positive things in the situations, you are bound to have a more positive solo experience. What are you telling yourself in those situations? Oh god, that was so good. Mm. I like I'm in a deli. Alone versus lonely are two different things. Being alone is a physical state where you're physically by yourself, whereas being lonely is an emotional state where you are feeling alone or disconnected from others. So one of the steps to enjoying time alone is to adjust your mindset because you're not automatically lonely because you wanna spend time alone. So I feel like by allowing yourself that, you will hopefully enjoy it more. I'm also whispering because I'm in a library. Hope you can hear me. A bonus tip is to go places where other people are alone. For example, 
a library or a museum or on a walk rather than doing all like the harder things there first so for example like a concert or a film. I was listening to Grace Beverly's Working Hard Hardly Working podcast and she had Dr Rangyan Chaji on as a guest and it was so interesting he was talking about the importance of like morning routines happiness and stuff but also about the importance of solitude aka being alone. In the podcast Dr Chaji says Ah, well, just hear it for yourself. Here you go. So going back to what I think is the one habit or behaviour we should be doing every day, is that we need a daily practice of solitude. A practice where we're not getting inputs in from the external world. And we're allowing ourselves to listen to what's going on inside us. He then goes on to say he does that through journaling. However, this can be totally different for you. It can be whatever you want it to be. It's just the impact of solitude and the benefits that has on your life, your health and your happiness. My preferred way of solitude is in the morning when I wake up in the form of journaling. So I do morning pages. I mean, if you know, you know. They're a practice from the artist's way book, which is basically just three pages of journaling in the morning. And then in the podcast, Dr. Chatterjee also mentioned the three questions he asks himself every morning. And I now answer these two. So my three answers for today were, one thing I deeply appreciate about life was the self-growth opportunities and how every day is a difference. For that one, I like, I actually really, really try and think because I don't want it to just be like a quick like answer. Like I actually really try and take my time so I've heard they're always quite a little bit deep actually all these are quite deep the most important thing you have to do today have fun and remember no one cares about you filming in public you've done it before because I was really feeling quite anxious this morning like I feel like I might come across as being so confident so like carefree and like obviously I've done my videos on like how to not care and stuff which is something like genuinely I implement every single day now and it has massively massively helped me as much as I hope it helps you but don't get me wrong like I still feel so nervous sometimes and what quality do you want to show the world today that I'm fearless and I will do what I put my mind to again linking to the filming in public kind of thing and yeah even though I get scared I'm fearless that's that's what I wrote, so yeah, so far, so good. But if you give it a go, let me know. And I just think those questions are, that takes two minutes in the morning. If you just like re actually take the time to think about it, I, yeah, I don't know, I really like them. Really, really like them. With this video topic being on how to enjoy spending time alone, and I know I've been out on a solo date, but I do just want to make it clear that it doesn't have to be something big. It doesn't have to be this big solo date. It doesn't have to be all these big things for it to count as you spending time alone. And remember, you're not trying to please anyone. If you don't want to spend time alone, that is totally, totally fine. But let's recap on how to enjoy spending time alone. Embrace it, put in the effort for yourself and make yourself feel good when doing things alone. Think about the perks, craft your perfect day out to do exactly what you want to do and on your time scale too. Societal standards. Now we know what society wants us to get us to think, it's up to us to decide what we tell ourselves and what our mindset is around when we're doing things alone. Alone versus lonely. Just because you want to spend time alone doesn't mean you're lonely. The importance of solitude. Think about your body, your mind, your health, and the benefits that this is giving to your life when you're spending time alone. I've created a spending time alone resource, which you can download for free via the link below. And within that resource, you get access to a bank of solo date ideas. Whether you're a beginner, whether you want to get into solo dating, or you're a pro, you often go on solo dates, but you want to be more challenged. You want to have new solo date ideas. This resource is for you. And as well in the download, you also get access to the free exclusive group chat which is where we encourage each other to be our very best selves so I hope to see you in the group chat so this is your sign date yourself get to know you because we are so consumed and so influenced by social media well I know speaking for myself I definitely am and that you don't really get to know who you are until you spend time alone until you've got that solitude and I just think it's a, just a really really important thing to do and no matter what way you do it doesn't like I said it doesn't have to be big can be so so small but I just think the act of solitude is is very important so cheers to all the upcoming solo dates and thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time Mwah. love you bye open my eyes I slept through the day Slept through the day, feeling uneasy, I push it away 
push it away Last night was fun, don't feel like today Feel like today, let's do it again, let's go on a date